New York State Senator Tony Avella on Friday, August 24th, organized a rally in front of his district office in Queens, amusingly calling it, quote, plain nuts, to protest the sudden increase in air traffic from LaGuardia Airport that is causing unbearable noise and air pollution for residents in northeast Queens, including the neighborhoods of Bayside, Bay Terrace, and North Flushing. Avella was joined by Assemblyman Edward Bronstein, uh, Community Board 11 Chair Jerry Ayanis, civic leaders, and dozens of uh, fed up homeowners who called upon the FAA to respond to their complaints and finally agreed to a meeting to discuss the matter. The terrible shooting at Empire State Building, which took place uh, prior to the rally, was the first issue that was addressed by Senator Avella. You know, our heart goes out to those people who were injured today, but it, it just sort of brings another note to what's going on in this country in terms of gun violence. But that's not why we're here. I'm joined by my colleague in Albany, Assemblyman Ed Bronstein and Jerry Anisi, the chair of Community Board 11 and community leaders and community residents, to say to the FAA, what is going on here? In uh, both Assemblyman Bronstein and I, in early June, started getting complaints from uh, our constituents about the planes going over. And we both have our offices here in Bayside, so we can hear the planes ourselves. You know, we wrote to the FAA, and we got back this rather strange response, saying that, well, you know, we're in the process of testing a new flight pattern from LaGuardia. And this is a six-month uh, test. And at the end of the test, we're going to evaluate the public comments to see whether or not this should be permanent. Well. Where was the public notification that there was this test going on? Where's the information about where constituents and people under that flight pattern can respond in terms of their public comments? It's almost like the FAA has been conducting this test pattern in total secret. And you have to wonder why. To this day, we've both been trying to get a meeting with the FAA here in Bayside to discuss what's going on, why this is happening, when the, the six-month period really ends, and how people can start to plug in to this so-called public comment period. What the FAA has done thus far is totally unacceptable. Plus the fact we're not going to stand for this, whether it's Bayside, North Flushing, Bay Terrace, um, the, the amount of noise that this has generated, and I'm waiting for the plane to go overhead while we're standing here, and of course it won't happen while we're standing here, uh, has been unbearable. They knew, you, they knew you were coming. Yeah. If you stand out on the street when one of these planes go over, you can't even hear, you can't even have a conversation. I mean, this is how bad this situation is. We've never had this airplane noise. We don't want it to happen. And this is just the beginning of a large effort of all, you know, thousands of residents to say to the FAA, what you've done is inexcusable, but at the end of the day, we are not going to allow this new test pattern to become permanent. Assemblyman Edward Bronstein, uh, who has been working with Senator Avella from the very start to arrange a meeting with the FAA, also termed the new flight patterns as unacceptable. And as he was explaining how loud and disturbing the plane noise is, his comments were justified with an airplane flying over the area. It's absolutely infuriating. You can't keep your windows open. If you're walking down the block on a cell phone, you, every every minute you have to take your phone away from you and say, hold on one second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On, on cue. Are we getting one? Yeah. <laughs> Good go. job, man. <laughs> so, so yeah, I mean, this nothing. is nothing. This is nothing. I mean, everybody who's here knows that it's every minute. So sometimes at 6 o'clock, they just queue up and they keep going. And, um, and, and we're here today, first of all, to call on the FAA to give us clear answers as, as to exactly what is going on. We want to know what has changed. We want to know uh, what the plan is moving forward, and we want to know who we could bring our grievances to. 
Uh, when we first started making phone calls from my office, the FAA said it was the Port Authority's fault, the Port Authority pushed it back to the FAA. We, we eventually uh, deduced that it was clearly the FAA's responsibility for what's going on here. Bayside homeowners and their elected officials, who as they stated, uh, they were never informed by the FAA about this new flight pattern, which according to the agency is under a trial period, are becoming increasingly concerned that it will become permanent. Senator Avella urged everyone to file their complaints with his office, with Assemblyman uh, Bronstein's office and with Community Board 11. As the rally continued, the airplane noise also continued. And what you're hearing is what we get. And it's totally unacceptable and we can't stand for it. We have to get our forces together and let them know that we are not a landing strip here. We were here before they were. We live here. We want to enjoy our properties. We want to have our barbecues. We want to be able to talk to each other. We don't want to hear that noise coming every three, four minutes. It's just wrong. 20 seconds. Every 20 seconds. Thank you. So we all have to stand together. And it's not just Bayside, by the way, because I've been walking around. It's through the entire flight pattern, going through Fresh Meadows, Flushing, Whitestone, Douglaston, and Little Neck. It's the takeoff plan that they've now created, the powers that be, these rocket scientists that think that the airport's more important than we are, and they're wrong. And we all need to get together to stand behind the senator, the assembly member, the community board, and make sure they know that we are here and we're not going to let them do it. They claim it's a, they say it's a test. Well, what are you testing? They don't want to tell us what they're testing. I know that uh, in my own corporation, many, sure, we'll try different things, but there'll be a reason for it. There'll be an end game. They're not even telling us what the end game is. And the one thing I can tell you, though, is they have totally disrupted life in Northeast Queens. I am constantly getting calls from people in Bay Terrace. What's going on? And while they're calling me, they tell me, hold on a minute, I have to let the plane pass over. <laughs> so the FAA, they have to sit down and talk to the community talk to the senator, talk to the assemblymen, and also they, they, there has to be more transparency in their process. The last time I dealt with a federal agency, their comment period was actually put up on a website. You could go up there and actually see the comments. You could see a list of people who had submitted comments. The FAA, they refused to do that. Frank Scala, president of Eastside Homeowners Association, well known for his sometimes extreme views, suggested that LaGuardia Airport should be shut down. They used to go over Great Neck, and Senator D'Amato, who is now retired, he had them shifted over Little Neck Bay. Uh, they got closer to the Bayside, and now they're right over the Bayside, and until I got a call saying they're over my house, I didn't hear them. Um, now I hear them all the time. Every not four minutes, two minutes. That's their uh, schedule. They can't add more plane. They they can only make bigger planes. And my answer is very simple: shut LaGuardia Airport, close it down forever, take it away, put it out somewhere in Long Island or upstate, and let people who want to have the luxury of flying. The snobs and the elitists <laughs> let them drive an hour or two hours to get a plane and leave us alone. The rally was also addressed by Andy Rothman, member of the Community Board 11 and co-chair of the Aviation Committee. We've been having some, going back a year, we had some meetings at Borough Hall with the FAA. And part of that was the FAA was trying to explain that they're bringing forth what they call their next-gen system. That's their uh, new aviation uh, uh, flight control system, landing and takeoff system. So what we have here is, is just the harbinger of things to come. What we have to be really careful about is that this next-gen system uh, the FAA wants to bring in allows, by, with technology, allows planes to come in closer together and spaced vertically. And this is a test uh, in my opinion, of bringing in these planes in a different way and then to allow uh, next gen to come in when the, when the hardware comes into play to have planes closer together and lower and that's going to be a, even a further problem uh, for us. So it, it's, it's a real harbinger that we have to really watch what's going on here and stop it. 
Several Bayside homeowners who attended the rally told us on and off camera that the excessive airplane noise over Bayside and other areas in northeast Queens is not only affecting their quality of life, but it is also rapidly affecting the values of their properties. Uh, what can you tell us about this noise? Oh, it's tremendous noise. Every 20 seconds we hear a plane, we can't come out, we can't have conversation, we can't be on cell phone, even we play tennis, we hear a lot of noise. You know, it's, it's really affecting us, mm -hmm. uh, affecting uh, real estate, affecting our living mm -hmm. atmosphere. No, it's mm -hmm. not acceptable. Antonio, uh, where do you live? Uh, you live around here? Yes, I live on Terry Third Road and uh, I am right underneath the fly pattern, okay. the new one. The new one. And I cannot use my backyard anymore. Yesterday, uh, I counted about 239 planes started at 10.30 in the morning until 11 o'clock at night. Every 20, 30 seconds they go by. And of course the value of your property is going down. Completely bust because nobody, I would not like to live under this noise. Actually we can enjoy some plain yeah. noise. This is nothing. This is uh, compared to what was yesterday. This is nothing. And this is really nothing. But it's, it, it's the, every 20 seconds, 30 seconds, one after another. They're coming only on one line. A lot of people are also concerned uh, for their safety. How about if one of these big planes crashes, God forbid? The route that they are flying right now is nothing more than the diversion of jets for the U.S. Open. It's called the straight-out procedure. That, the, the safety route, which is called the Whitestone Climb, is being avoided because for reasons that are political, economic, and uh, what's going to happen if one of those planes come down? Well, I can cite you a story of the, that pilot, Sullenberg, the one who crashed in the Hudson. When he took off that day, he flew the Whitestone Climb, which is a normal safety climb. They climb over the park, over Shea, over the tennis stadium. He made a big turn, and because he had altitude, pilots want altitude. The higher they are, the more chance they can land safely. He had the altitude. If he was flying this route, when he had that problem, he would have crashed right in this neighborhood. Bayside homeowners and their elected officials, who, as they stated, were never informed by the FAA about this new flight pattern, which, according to the agency, is under a trial period, are becoming increasingly concerned that it will become permanent. And in responding to questions from homeowners as to what they need to do, Senator Avella repeated and urged everyone to file their complaints with his office, with Assemblyman uh, Bronstein's office, and with Community Board 11. How many calls have you been receiving from uh, your constituents so far? Um, early on when it first started, uh, we were getting calls sometimes in the morning every 10 minutes. Uh, a lot of those people have already called, so we still get sporadic calls, but for a good week we were getting calls every 10 minutes. It was, uh, it was outrageous. Mm -hmm. And I know you reached out to the FAA and they have not responding. Why do you think they're not responding to you? I mean, you're an elected official. Um, I think because it's a, a different branch of the federal government rather than I'm a state legislative official. And uh, sometimes I think that they feel that everybody complains about plane noise and that they're just going to ignore us and hope that we, we get quiet and go away so they can continue this new change. Mm -hmm. Now, um, how long was it when you requested the meeting? Uh, we requested the meeting about a month ago mm -hmm. and we still haven't gotten a definitive date. And anytime we, we raise questions over the phone, they say, oh, you know, it's just a new plan. We're testing things. We'll come out and talk to the constituents. But we're never getting a clear answer as to exactly what has changed, who we need to complain to, and, and what the process is moving forward. And what is the message you would like to send out to um, your constituents? We're going to watch this uh, program today. Uh, the, the message I have to constituents is, is that I live in Bayside. My family lives in Bayside. We've been dealing with this noise every minute for, for certain hours of the day, and we are going to do every single thing possible to make sure that we can put a stop to this because it is affecting the quality of life, it is affecting property values, and uh, it is just intolerable, and we're not going to put up with it. Ms. Yanis, uh, we spoke about two weeks ago on the radio. Here we are again at this rally. Uh, did you get a response from the FAA as of yet? Absolutely nothing. Silence, which is not surprising. Are you hopeful that eventually they will uh, get back to you? Well, I'm hopeful, but I'm not optimistic. This is the, their MO. This is the way they function. They'll give you certain information and just never get back to you. And it's unacceptable. For those of us that live in these the communities, we, we, our homes are here, it's totally unacceptable. They're, they're destroying our quality of life and disturbing our quiet enjoyment. 
they need to give us a response and give us a response quickly. Right, and um, one thing that uh, viewers should understand that these planes used to fly over water before, right? Well, th that was the thing. They, they brought this up several months ago when I was a, uh, when I was at a borough board meeting, and they told us about larger aircraft. But they said the flight pattern wasn't going to change, and the flight pattern before took it directly out over the water, over the sound, over the bridges, and then straight out. They've changed it completely. They, they've lowered their flight plan and gone over all, all our homes in Whitestone, Flushing, Douglas, and Little Neck. Unacceptable. And is that because uh, this uh, route uh, is more convenient for them to have more um, flights? Well, I, I think the idea is to come in with larger aircraft. Larger aircraft have larger wingspans, uh, and so they can't take off as high as quickly. So I think they need to land and take off at a lower acceleration or a lower incline or decline. And I think that's the reason behind it. And I think this is their plan, and uh, it's unacceptable. It's just wrong. Uh, have, you, have you been getting a lot of response from the people? I see a lot of people turned out oh, today. Oh, it's, it's amazing. The community board, I know Senator Vela and Ed Brunstein's office, the Assemblyman's office, has been inundated with phone calls. People constantly calling, complaining. Uh, we've asked them to call and complain and keep a log as to what's going on, and it's off the charts right now. Senator Avella, thank you so much uh, for um, talking to us once again. It's been two weeks since we talked on the radio and one week since we re-aired that interview on Actina TV, and you're still struggling to get that FAA meeting. I thought by now that uh, you would have uh, announced good news. What happened? Well, you, you would think that. Um, clearly something's going on at the FAA. Um, I'm worried just like my other elected officials and the citizens of Bayside, Whitestone, North Flushing, all of Northeast Queens, is the FAA trying to pull a fast one and r ram this new air airplane uh, test flight over our heads, you know, down our throats. Clearly, the FAA has not been responsive. One, to meet with us. We're two, to let the public know right. how to comment. What is this being done? Well, in secret, it's very disconcerting that this is how a federal agency is operating. But we're not going to give up. This is a significant decrease in the quality of life for all of Northeast Queen homeowners. It's a huge safety factor because the planes are now coming very low over residential homes. If there's an accident, they're going to crash into residential homes. It's a significant decrease in everybody's property values. And this is a very, you know, middle class, up the middle class neighborhood in Queens, which is the bedrock of the property taxes for the city of New York. So we're going to continue to fight this, but shame on the FAA for not being more responsive. And since uh, we've been uh, covering this rally uh, this morning, we heard several planes going over and over again. Actually, we couldn't even conduct our interviews because they were so loud. And indeed, they're very low, and people here were very, are very much concerned about their safety. Here's another one going now. <laughs> well, the very fact <clears throat> that we put this rally together in two days, um, we're just calling some of the people who called our office, and what, there were 75 people here on a Friday afternoon, in the summer when normally people are already you know on vacation so I think this goes to show you how much of an issue this is for people and we're going to continue to raise awareness and I think you're going to find that thousands of people are affected and we're not going to let this go and we're going to fight the FAA tooth and nail this is simply wrong thank you senator keep up the good work well thank you for covering this your coverage has, has meant a lot to us fighting this issue